Hey guys, this is Eugene from Review Outdoor Gear and I have another axe to review for you today. This is the Husqvarna Carpenter's Axe. Very nice quality axe, very good value. I would not say it's cheap axe, it's just a low priced quality item in my opinion. Uh, Amazon you can get it somewhere around $60 right now probably. And uh, it's a very nice, very nice axe. I've made some modifications through it. I'll go through what it kind of came out uh, looking like out of the box. I'll go through the modifications I made for it. It took me about an hour to, you know, basically refine it. Um, and then I'll go through uh, performance tests. We'll go and chop a tree down and do a little bit of the carpentry work with it and see how it performs. Um, so let's start with uh, weight and size. So before I'll actually delve too far in, um, we have this uh, mask. Some people call it a sheet. Some people call it a mask from Husqvarna here, uh, made out of leather. This is actually not not, not, the, not a bad sheath um, compared to the ones that I've had before in my previous reviews. It actually does have a, a welt and it has a, you know, um, those uh, brass rivets there, it has a clasp. It's not, not bad, um, but you know, in the tradition of my previous axes, I've kind of not, you know, uh, went the next step. And uh, like always, my dad is a beautiful craftsman, and he made uh, this wonderful piece of art. Uh, this is a handmade, hand-stitched sheath. I'll talk a little bit more about it towards the end, because you probably want to know about the axe. But uh, I think that does a much better job and just looks much better. Anyway, the reason I started talking about that because I was trying to remove it. But um, let's measure it and weigh it. So the length of the axe. From the top to the back is 20 and a half inches exactly. If I go from the top of the blade, it's just uh, 20 and a quarter. And then from the ear, or the cheek, I guess, the cheek of the axe. I don't know, people call that an ear, and people call that little thing there. All sorts of names for it. That's 17 and a half exactly. Uh, <clears throat> the blade. Or the axe head. Let's start with the length here. That's six and seven eighths. The width of the cutting edge. Oh, one more time. That's four and a little bit under a quarter. Basically three sixteenths. Um, the pole of the axe is about two. You know, almost two and three eighths, basically. Um, the pole, you know, is not ground. It's not finished off like the, the other really nice quality axes, but that's not hard to do. I didn't do it. I don't really, you know, I might need to hammer something with it, but that's not as important. So there we go. Those are the dimensions. Let's get the weight. So that's 2 pounds, 15.1 ounces. With the provided sheath, that's 3 pounds and 1.1 ounces. With the currently made sheath, it's 3 pounds and 1.5 and ounces. So there you have it. That's the weight and size. Very nice quality axe. So, you know, it came with a Husqvarna label here that I've sanded off. Um, what I've done to this axe, by the way, you can click, there will be two videos that will pop up here. One will be here for how to refinish a handle. So what, that's what I did here. And then the one down here will be how to sharpen an axe. So go ahead and you can check those out. It'll take you to a different window. You won't, this, it won't leave from this video if you want to check those out. Um, and those links will be available in the bottom of the video as well, at the end of the video, in the description. But basically I sanded this off and uh, covered it with boiled linseed oil. That gave it that really nice brown golden color and also protects it, you know, <clears throat> prevents the water from absorbing into the handle. It came unfinished, um, I just had to sand it off so that's very nice. Uh, in terms of the head, all I've done here is I've just, I've honed the edge down pretty well, made it uh, basically shaving or paper cutting sharp. Uh, it's quite good, quite nice. It didn't come too sharp out of the box. I had to really put a little bit of work on it. But uh, outside of that, it's pretty good. Uh, you know, I will say my specific axe head here has a tiny little spot somewhere right about here where I, I couldn't get it to be razor sharp. I mean, it was really sharp, but just not razor sharp. I think they might have overheated or something, just a little tip of it here. It might, you know, as I sharpen it and take some of that material off, it might get better. But it's just a very small little portion. I just thought I'd note that. In terms of the handle, of course it's hickory. I already talked about some of the properties, but I wanted to mention the grain. 
that is some beautiful uh, orientation of grain that's perfectly uh, parallel with the cutting edge there uh, basically vertical grain is what I would call that and very tight that's some of the nicest grain I've had in an axe yet and the grain follows all the way along the handle very straight good good grain I've heard that if the wood has some of this brown stuff that that's not as good uh, you know not as high quality but it just looks it looks very good to me um, I mean there's a little bit of this brown material in there which is not a big deal so there we go that's that's that uh, axe for you of course here it has their uh, maker's mark and it says hand forged uh, made in Sweden Swedish steel so it's, it's high carbon uh, you, you know it will rust so make sure you keep it nice and oiled up um, and the hand forging hand forging uh, makes the steel just harder and makes it hold an edge a lot better and it makes it a very nice steel for axes and knives and such and then we have the grommet hole here um, or the lanyard hole if you want to hang your axe on that or put a little rope through there you know a carpenter's axe is not designed necessarily to chop wood chop trees down it's actually designed to uh, work with dry wood and uh, it's designed to basically be like a big heavy knife um, the reason they have this little piece here is for you to be able to choke your hand up on that and get really close to the blade to be able to uh, do some chiseling work um, it's also ground down pretty f at a pretty uh, low angle small angle here to be very very uh, f uh, thin so that you can do that work the blades also heavy just so you, you know you have that momentum to kind of chisel with it it's used to make you know log houses if you're or whatever um, you can also do a lot of other things with it around the yard or you, know, you can take it with you if you're you know out there in the woods you, you can do a lot of things with this axe um, I, in terms of the handle also I want to go back to that I'm sorry guys I keep jumping around I just wanted to say that it this curve is really nice it feels really good in the hand it has a nice palm swell here um, and in terms of this thickness of the handle or width of the handle it doesn't swell as much but it does swell just a tad bit here towards the end which is nice I'd want that to be a little bit more but you know that's where the price comes in um, oh and in terms of the fit very nicely fitted handle you can see the uh, spread there of the wood as it comes out of the eye that's gonna hold really well and then they have the wooden uh, wedge and the round wedges like they use now metal wedge there I didn't have to do anything to that it looks beautiful and it's in there very very snug so now going back uh, before we go out and chop this chop with this axe uh, I'm just gonna go back to the sheath real quick that you might have been wondering a little bit more about so yeah this is a handmade sheath made out of raw cowhide it's covered with a little boiled linseed oil as well it's hand stitched it has a really nice welt inserted into there so you know the cutting edge will not touch the steel rivets that are here and uh, you can see how that that goes on there it's perfectly it's for uh, you know custom molded to this this axe here these will be available uh, in a description below click a link there to buy it on Amazon um, but there we go that's what it looks like it, a nice uh, clasp here all handmade all uh, quality made to last and uh, I think it looks nice I mean it's my biased opinion I guess but anyway if you're interested in that, that that's there for you so there we go that's what the axe will look like um, let's go out there and do a little chopping with that. So like I said guys, the axe is not designed for uh, chopping trees down necessarily. It's designed to work with dry wood, but let's give it a shot anyway. We'll see how it does. I'm going to use two hands on it. It's big enough to do that. feels quite comfortable and see how it does with uh, some chopping. That's not the most beautiful wood felling job I've done. But there you go. Ooh, I got a little winded there. You know, you can see it's chopping. Not bad. I mean, it's an axe. It'll chop. You know, I'm not going to say it's better than those that are designed to chop. This long edge is designed like to be like a knife, like I said. That's why it's nice and straight, like that, and not curved. Let's lend this tree. <clears throat> so uh, here we go, I have a little dry wood. 
Let's see what uh, we can do. I'm just gonna kind of plane or you know get some of this wood off of here and try to make it more into a uh, board or something. But you know, dry wood, right? That's exactly what this is designed for. And you can see how how controlled you can make those cuts. We can kind of hit along the you know make it nice flat piece of uh, of wood there. And uh, you know, if you were making a board or making a a leg for your chair or something. Start it up like that. And uh, you could use it as a chisel. Like kind of choking choking up on it here. I'm not too much of a carpenter yet. But you can see that that long edge, long cutting edge, is really nice for that type of thing. It also splits. So let's see if we can split this piece of wood. But it's not, of course, designed to be a splitter. You know, going back to the same thing I was saying before. But of course, dry wood is easier to split than wet wood. Um, as you can see, we can make nice, nice planks out of it. So uh, that wood kind of formed it into a somewhat of a board by doing a couple splits and we have one notch here let's see if we can put another one in here and you can see how well you can control that edge So like I said, below you can click for a link to buy this axe online on Amazon. There will also be a link for this sheath. And uh, thank you for watching and checking out my videos. Uh, you know, if you like the video, like the review, give me a thumbs up. Also, ask questions below and uh, subscribe to my channel. I have some other cool stuff on there. And one last bonus that I uh, figured out recently with these sheaths, and you can do it with multiple other sheaths. You can actually use it to attach the belt. Uh, to attach the sheath or the axe to your belt. So if you have a belt, you just loop the, that bit through there, put it on there, and it's actually quite comfy. Uh, it just feels like a, like a knife on your side there. You know, if you're out there walking and you needed it attached, um, you know, it's not a quick in and out type of attachment, but if you're kind of on your way somewhere, you can definitely attach it on there, and it holds on really well. There's no way that that's going to come off because the clip is on this side with the clasp. And to remove it, you just remove it. You have your axe. So, another bonus. Anyway, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in a future video, hopefully. Enjoy the outdoors and praise God. Talk to you later.